Okay, here's another uh, banjo that uh, somebody kind of put together. It's a, it's a TB3. It started out as a TB3 ball bearing, and the amount of work that went on this banjo is just phenomenal. The sound is phenomenal. The look is phenomenal. And what we've decided to do when we get these banjos from trade in is pretty much just give them away for practically nothing. Uh, instead of trying to sell them for twice as much. And this is unbelievable. So I'll, I'll play it and then I'll explain it to you. of this banjo. Now, we uh, basically decided not to change the head. If we changed the head, the banjo would look brand new. Uh, so just realize there's beauty in this. This is a uh, ban uh, when we look at this, we see a <coughs> one-piece armrest, and we see an original Presto tailpiece. And uh, all of this has been chrome-plated. Now, there's a guy named I believe his name was Richard or Robert Lauer. This was 30, 40 years ago, and he made tone rings. He was an engineer. Maybe he worked for the aerospace department, but he's a really detailed guy. And he actually made the neck for this and the tone ring. He must have chrome-plated everything because it looks unbelievable. And if you are familiar with uh, ball-bearing banjos, they have a three-quarter inch shell, shell similar to a two-piece flange. So you've got that old three-ply sound. So if you're looking for that sound, that magical sound that comes from, from the old wood, and also the resonators are amazing. If you have ever uh, taken a resonator off of a pre-war banjo and put it on your new banjo, many times it's like magic. So two of the three components of let's say Earl Scruggs' banjo exists within this banjo. And of course you have a, a good tone ring. And uh, if you're wanting to get into the pre-war, this would be a perfect banjo for you. So let's look at the back. And once again, it's been refinished, so it just looks beautiful. I mean, it looks like a brand new instrument. And chrome doesn't really tarnish or show marks, so the, the banjo just looks unbelievable. And then of course we have the uh, Wreath inlay, excellent job done on that. Uh, and then a fiddle shape, the fiddle headstock. And uh, we turn it over and we see uh, curly maple. So that is really, really good. And uh, so we can go up the neck and see that curly maple. 
And you'll notice that this banjo was not only well taken care of, the fellow actually owned three or four banjos, so he didn't wear it out, and uh, very little wear, very little wear. So if you're interested in getting a uh, pre-war type banjo where the components are pre-war that looks incredible with a great neck, everything adjusted to perfection for almost nothing, here it is. Just give us a call. Uh, last time we did this, I was saying on another video, we posted a video and like within 24 hours, the banjo was gone and of course we have you know, people calling because they wanted it. But here's another opportunity to just get a, a great instrument. Uh, if you have questions, you call Andy at 404-372-5482. 404-372-5482. Or you can go to banjowarehouse.com. You'll see more pictures, particularly of the inside, and you'll notice it has the Master Tone. This is a Master Tone banjo, so it has the old Master Tone label. And... Uh, if you want to come visit us, play banjos, just give us a call, give us a day's notice. We can see it seven days a week, but sometimes we're out buying banjos, so make sure you call us the day before. And if you like this and like seeing new banjos and hearing different banjos, subscribe to this channel and you'll be getting notifications. And also I put some lesson information on here, and that's pretty much it. So if you have any questions, give us a call and you guys have a great day.